so Escape from Tarkov, you got the menu, and the menu has Escape from Tarkov, Character, Trading, and Hideout. So, in your character, you have your stash, and you can have anything you want in there. And you can customize your character however you want. You have health, food, and water down there. Uh, right here, you're going to see me switch to the health tab. It shows uh, what is your health at, like your head, your thorax, you got your left arm, right arm, you know, all your limbs. You got all of that, and then it'll show your max health, and of course your water and food. It'll show how much health you got in each limb, and if you need to heal it. This is the skills. Uh, if you go into a raid, you level up the all these skills, like your com convert movement, and like your health and your strength. So you're about to see me equip a gun right now. Like I said, you can customize, not customize, but like you can equip anything you want on your character. You can equip armor, like you can see me put a helmet on him right now, a tactical rig right now. And I put on a backpack too, but I was, I'm just showing you guys that you can put anything you want on him. Anything that's like important for the raid that you need, that you're about to go into and you're ready to fight people, you know. These are the traders. You have eight different traders. Uh, you got Prapper, Therapist, Fence, Skier, Peacekeeper, Mechanic, Ragman, and Jaeger. So let's start off with Prapper. Prapper, he's got just a lot of ammo and magazines. Each trader has missions that you can do. Like that. Just many different missions. And then uh, his items. You can buy stuff from him. He's got a lot of stuff guns and stuff like that now we move on to therapist therapist same thing she's got missions and she's got stuff they can buy from her she's got salawas she has cars and ifax and uh what's that thing called the a ai ai2 the tarkov community calls it cheese it's pretty funny there's splints bandages painkillers there's ibuprofen too but I don't have that she's not selling it to me yet because there's a there's a thing called loyalty uh, you do missions for her and uh, you'll start unlocking more and more things throughout the way like right now you can just see me uh, <clears throat> like so like if you just bought the game you'll start off as at, at loyalty one with that stuff you can only buy those things uh, now you got fence fence is a little bit different than other traders whatever you sell it to him he'll sell it back at people uh, you can buy it back but he sells it for like quadruple the price so like if I sold something to him he would sell it like three times the price but he doesn't have any missions which is the weird thing a skier is the same thing like any other trader he sells weapon parts magazines and guns and he has missions too I like Peacekeeper. Uh, the problem with him is that he uses dollars instead of rubles or euros. I mean, euros are even worse. But he has really good guns, like the HKs, the DTs, M1, M4A1s, like really good guns, and I like him a lot. And he's got a few missions too they gotta do so he can get his loyalty up. Mechanic, just like any other trader, he has weapons, parts, weapons, and missions. Ragman is pretty important because he has helmets that you can buy, armor that you can buy, tactical rigs, and backpacks. And he's got missions too. Uh, and you can customize your own character with him too, which is pretty cool. Last but not least, this is the newly added character that they just added not too long ago. Uh, he doesn't have too much good things. Maybe if you get his loyalty up, uh, he'll start selling you better things. He has missions too. And the flea market, uh, real people sell stuff there for money. And you can just search up anything and probably somebody is selling it. The hideout uh, is pretty fun. 
You need to get gather materials so you can upgrade the stuff inside your hideout. Your hideout is basically like your house, basically. Uh, you can just upgrade anything. You have a generator, and in that generator, you can put fuel in it. <coughs> like that. Like you can put fuel supply in there, and then you can turn on the generator and you can have a light in there. But right now, I don't have any fuel. And you can see you can upgrade it, but you need certain things. And you need level three requirements. So this is the thing that I don't like in hideout. It'll just lead you to a lot of things. So like, let's say if I want to upgrade the stash, I need a lot of money. That's already a lot. Med station, I can craft medical supplies and some really good stuff and the nutrition unit I can craft food and you just got other things like heating uh, like rest space I think it said illumination shooting range the shooting range is pretty cool if you equip the gun you can shoot because you can enter into your hideout and that's basically it. and you have night vision for some reason I don't know why but that's a thing in hideout <clears throat> 